Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This past weekend, I went hiking up into the New York Catskills, and I want to show you guys what I took along with me. Start with my pack. This is a Z Packs Art Call. I wanted a lightweight pack that still had a frame, and I liked the Z Packs because you can change out the belt in case my weight fluctuates. Um, also, with Z Packs, you can buy a lot of accessories. I bought this strap water holder that can fit a smart bottle in here. And then I also bought this fanny pack that attaches through the belt, or it has its own belt if you don't want to attach it here. Um, you can buy you can buy side pockets, but I chose the fanny pack instead. For my tent. Uh, my boyfriend and I share a big Agnes Tiger Wall Ultralight 3. Um, we split up the weight here. I carry the poles. He carries the fly in the actual tent. Um, and then I also carry the footprint. We don't have our footprint yet for that guy. Um, so we just use some of our old footprints. Last time we went out this weekend. For my sleeping pad, I am a very very cold sleeper so I chose the REI flash which is, a, which is an all season pad um, it's got a R value of 5.2 I'm not sure how accurate that is but it's definitely a lot warmer than my previous one which didn't even have an R value it was just a cheap one off of Amazon for my sleeping bag I have a Kelty 20 degree um, like I said, I'm a really cold sleeper and this thing just does not cut it. It's synthetic. It was only $100 so I kind of cheaped out on the price and it's definitely worth $100. It does okay when it's summer, but anything below 40 degrees I am freezing so I need to change that guy out. Um, for my sleeping pillow, I just have a Sea to Summit. It's not the greatest. Um, I did see ones that have like some kind of padding in them. Might upgrade to that. Um, and then for day hikes or not day hikes and a couple day overnight hikes, we like to bring a hammock. Um, and then this is a new thing that I just brought last trip, just a little foam pad, which was really great when we were like sitting by the fire or just anything during the day and you didn't want to sit on the ground. It's really comfortable. For my clothes, I just wear leggings. These are from Aerie. Synthetic. Everything's synthetic. Shirt from, I think, like TJ Maxx. Mid-layer, also from TJ Maxx, just a zip up. Sports bra, some synthetic underwear, and then sleeping in, like, some warmer pants and long sleeve shirt that I don't have here. Then I brought for a three day hike, three pairs of socks, one to sleep in and then two to wear during the day. Um, I wore the first night, I just wore these and I was really cold. So I doubled these up the second night and it was a lot better. And just a pair of gloves. Um, I tried to buff out for the first time. I didn't love it. I didn't really use it, so I'm not sure if I'll still carry that along. Maybe it'll be better during the warmer days and keep my hair out of my face. Um, puffy, this is just REI Puffy. Got it on sale. Keeps, us warm, keeps me warm. I wore it more at camp than hiking. I rained a lot this past weekend, so I had my rain jacket. Marmot rain jacket. I really like it. I think... I think it does the job pretty well. Um, and then I also like to bring camp shoes. These are just cheap ones from Old Navy. From our cooking, uh, we have this titanium pot. It's a 110 milliliter. It is a Tox titanium pot. It's super lightweight. Uh, my boyfriend carries that. Um, and he also carries this MSR pocket rocket little stove and just our fuel from Walmart Coleman. Um, and then also for a fire starting kit, uh, we just have like a little fire starter, um, lighter, 
and we try to use like this flint starter. It didn't really work that well, so I'm not sure if I'll bring that again. For our water filtration, I we both shared the Sawyer squeeze. I carried this along with the Seenock water bladder bag. You just it hooks up to here and you can just drip it into a water bottle, extra water bottle. And I just have like this pull and spring one that we use for that. Um, it's kind of a luxury item, but this is a lantern. You charge it, it's got a solar panel, so you charge it by the sun, you just blow it up, um, and then the whole thing illuminates at night. Um, just a bag, toilet paper, and um, a poop shovel. For food, I keep it in the z pack spare bag. Also came with a rope and a little bag to put like rocks in there so you can PCT hang your bag. I'll put my food in here during the day and then at night my boyfriend will put his food in here and then we'll hang it up. So my pack is water resistant. It keeps out rain pretty well from what I've experienced so far, but I've been told you should still have some kind of liner. So I just use this regular trash bag that we have and put like my sleeping bag, clothes, and sleeping pad in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because it stretches, so it's hard to pull out. Um, I think just a regular compactor bag would probably be a better idea. Um, and then just other little things. We went like in Catskills, so we have our map. Um, mosquito and tick spray, a first aid kit, my boyfriend carries this, she's got like some bandages, Tylenol, a bunch of stuff we really don't need but makes him feel better to carry it so he's letting him have it. So I use my phone a lot to film. So I just have an Anchor Charger 1300 that works for a couple of days. Little towel I clip onto my pack. It's good if like the tent it has a lot to do in the morning, just wipe it off with that or any little thing. My headlamp, I believe it's Ellie. I just got this off Amazon. I picked this because you can charge it instead of replacing the batteries all the time. Um, oh, I forgot for my cooking system. I hate metal spoons. Those like lightweight hiking spoons. I like the plastic ones a lot better, but they're pretty short. So this one, you connect the fork and the spoon and make it longer. Very convenient. So one new item I used were trekking poles. These are the REI Traverse Women's, so they pack a little bit smaller than men's. I've never use trekking poles before, but I'm really glad I did. My fingers swell up a lot hiking. Um, so using these, I didn't have a problem for all three days that we went hiking. So I'm really glad I tried these and I'll continue to use them. Um, oh, I did forget, uh, also brought sunscreen, very important. And that's all I packed for two nights and three days.